I think what he was saying is that there, you know, goodness knows, we're investigated out in one sense on the Partygate stuff, but there have been the, the, the police investigation into whether the Prime Minister and others broke the law on the COVID restrictions and the parties in Downing Street. Then there's been the Sue Gray investigation about the sort of overall conduct and culture. Um, what Christopher Guyte was saying was there's there's a gap in this about the ministerial code and uh, nobody is holding the prime minister to account for his adherence to the ministerial code. So what he seems to be saying is that he communicated to the prime minister exactly how and whether the message got through is, is at issue. Um, but he communicated to the Prime Minister saying, you need to provide me with reassurance that you didn't br breach the ministerial code. It seems like, whether because the message didn't get through or whether because the Prime Minister chose to ignore it, um, the Prime Minister never did that, which is causing Christopher Guyte the angst that we saw in his uh, uh, somewhat circumlocutory language in the um, the report that was issued last night. And angst briefly summed up, if you would, saying I'd look ridiculous if we didn't get this right. Yes, and he sort of says the ministerial code itself and the whole system of ethics uh, overseeing ministers and the prime minister would look ridiculous. Some might say we've already got beyond that point. Um, I think what we're also seeing here is a bit of a tussle uh, internally and externally between those who consider it their job to provide some sort of framework for the ethical oversight of the Prime Minister um, uh, uh, and, and the Prime Minister himself. So what, what uh, actually seems really interesting, reading between the lines of some of the, uh, uh, some of the do documentation that we've got, is, is how um, inside government um, uh, Christopher Guy and others are trying to assert themselves with the Prime Minister uh, and how he's you know, pushing back. And that's sort of spilling out into the open now. Alex Thomas, thank you very much. Fluent human indeed there from the Institute for Government.